probably see, and this is our fourth program that is negatively impacted by this building. And I'm not just referring to the choir program, but I'm going to refer to both of them at the same time, the choir and band program. For those of you that don't know, the band room is just on the other side here. And we're not going to go into the band room because of lack of time, but I can tell you that the issues that we face in this room are the exact same issues on the other side of the wall. First of all, the certificate of occupancy that's put up there by the fire marshal tells us that this room is equipped for 38 students maximum. We have 83 in first period choir. So the only way Jen can deal with that is that she takes half the choir for the first half of the block, the second half of the choir for the second half of the block, and then every Friday she takes them all down to the auditorium where they sit on the seats and she sits on the stage and directs them. It's not a way to grow a program at all. Uh, and so we need a different space than this one to, to deal with our choral program, as we do with the band program. In addition, when this room was built, they did not put an ex out, ex outside access on it, which by law they are supposed to have because it's an oversized classroom. They don't have one. The band has one, but it's in the wrong place. It's on the side of the building, and they need one in the large group area. So both of them violate code in that area. In addition, when they built these rooms, they did not build them acoustically at all. And in the band room, what we've done is we've taken the old curtains that were off the stage in the auditorium and put them all along the sides of the band room for acoustics. Now it's done the trick. It absorbs the sound so it doesn't bounce off. But those curtains are 46 years old and they have never been clean. <laughs> so they are full of God knows what, and you don't want to disturb them because then it'll just all come loose. So we just leave them where they are. Uh, but they were not built acoustically at all. The final problem with these two rooms is their location. They practice here, they perform in the auditorium. Any band choir room should be located near or next to their performing arts area. And that's our big problem. When these two are, have a concert, which they have in a couple of weeks, we haul everything down the hallway to the auditorium, music stands, chairs, pianos, instruments. They do their performance, and then we haul them all back. They're hard on the equipment. They waste a lot of valuable time, and, and it needs to be moved. And so what we would like to do is move the band to choir room so that they are directly next to the auditorium, which is in the gym as it is now. This whole west wall, if you can uh, picture where we are, this whole west wall of the school is going to go up. We are adding on to this end of the building, and if you recall, that's the one place we really can grow. We have quite a bit of green space before you hit that little drive that goes from the front to the back. And so this whole wall is going to go out. And this is actually where our Family and Consumer Science Pro Start Room is going to be. The loading dock is going to be right on the other side of this wall. And we're building a whole maintenance area over there for all of the maintenance equipment and things that we need for there. So this will become the home of Family and Consumer Science.